The Philippines is an archipelago of 7,107 islands, home to an estimate of 94 million people, the world's 12th most populous country. It homes numerous wonders such as Mount Apo, Mount Pinatubo, and the Banawi Rice Terraces. Mount Apo is its highest mountain with an altitude of 2,954 meters. Mount Pinatubo's eruption produced the second largest terrestrial eruption of the 20th century. The Banawa Rice Terraces are 2,000-year-old terraces of Ifugao we Filipinos fondly call the eighth wonder of the world. Land. The very word brings images to our minds. The question is, by which image they perceive it as? They perceive it as a dirt that stains our clothes, that heals hundreds of people every year, or do you see it as the land that nourishes and supports the plants that we eat? There are two sides to it. When disaster strikes though, nature alone is not to blame. Many of the catastrophes we experience are caused by man. That means we should take care of nature so that the bad things we have done won't backfire. The Chocolate Hills is a very famous tourist site. However, many months have been diminished because of the pouring of the limestone which it is made of. You can also find bits of trash at the bottom of the hills. So you see, man is destroying nature to expand this production. Gold is indeed a precious metallic element of yellow color. It's a fine, valuable mineral found at the depths of the earth. It has lots of uses and plays an important role in the lives of humans then and now. This natural treasure can be found and seen in the Philippines. Our country is in fact the second largest source of gold next to South Africa. Sadly, a lot of people began abusing this mineral by excessive mining, particularly in Palawan. Mining in Palawan has already caused deforestations, generated flooding, and caused the saltation of rivers in farmland. This action has already destroyed some of the region's sacred sites. And to make things worse, the mining destroys the watersheds, thereby polluting the residents' drinking water. Palawan, the world center of diversity and the safest grounds in the Philippines due to zero visibility of earthquake faults, is now being slowly submerged to complete darkness. I would like to talk about the problem of deforestation, which is the increasing loss of forest cover because of the rampant cutting of trees. In fact, according to the website mohabay.com, the Philippines lost a certificate forest cover from 1990 to 2005. The current rate of deforestation is 2% per year. Forestation also raises concerns among... Littering paper, I will tell you now what happens if you keep doing these things. Like in Zambales, before there were many trees, and the view from the foot of the mountains were so green and majestic. But now it is so brown and sad. The trees being chopped down for the use of students' papers, people's houses, etc. But what do we do with this? We vandalize on the chairs. We waste pad paper. We throw them in the streets or put them some, somewhere that is not for them. I say we stop these childish doings and do what's right for them. Has anyone of you been to a beach last summer? A beach is a place where almost everybody wants to spend their vacation. I think it is because of its fresh breeze and cool water. It is peaceful and comfortable if you get there. But in some beaches, there are garbage on the shore that may be eaten by marine animals, leftovers on the sandy floor that will lose its traction. It looks awful, especially to the tourists who visit the place. I like to encourage everyone to preserve this beautiful land formation. You may do some cleanups, like throwing the garbage in the right places. Your simple acts can have a great impact in our daily life. Rice. Rice gives life. It satisfies the hunger of millions of people. It is the stable food of many Filipinos. Under the administration of former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, the Philippines, led by our government, imported million tons of sacks of rice from Vietnam. But what happened? It was wasted. It rot inside the warehouse. 
Whose money was used? Whose money was wasted? Our money. We could just take care of our agricultural land. For an instance, banana rice terraces. Imagine how many sacks of rice it could make if we could just give importance to it. So, do not waste rice.